Good morning, guys. Just back here again on a beautiful winter morning, as ironic as that sounds. Um, about 45 degrees out. Thought I'd pull the bike out just for a quick, quick video. As you can see, it's got the Van Damen exhaust fully fitted. And um, actually, I pulled it apart um, yesterday just to go over the headers again, make sure everything was sealed properly. And um, just to give you a quick idea of how it looks. going to move up closer and there's the bracket I was telling you about it just clears the header um, I can tweak it a little bit later maybe get another couple of centimeters of clearance got the bear racing upper winglets on only do not have the lowers on did not feel like pulling the panels apart just to do a mock-up I will put the lower wings on when I finally get um, when I finally get them painted, I believe I finally cracked Kawasaki's paint code, not for the 2015, but maybe for the 2016 details on that in a future, uh, video. Um, but just to give you guys an idea of how this thing looks with the Van Damen, uh, titanium, full titanium system. This thing, guys, is very, very loud. I don't know if my camera is going to do it justice, but um, we'll give it a shot. I'm going to take some video, and I'm going to post it for you guys so you guys can see. That's the back profile with the wings. As you can see, they come out flat. They follow the lines of the mirrors. Um, those were closely adhered to with this with this set and we know that Kawasaki incorporated the the winglets design into the mirrors as well so they do have an aerodynamic benefit and they were designed to be used in conjunction or be used without the lower bearing so even your mirrors are very aerodynamic and these bear racing wings look to follow those lines um, very closely um, I like these at first. I wasn't sure if I was a big fan of them Because um, I wanted that h2r look but um, These actually grew on me and I like the fact that they kind of stick out give it that jet fighter look but um, As far as the exhaust goes, I know maybe a few of you guys are watching this video because you want information on the exhaust install was a little bit challenging you know, pull, you got to pull the tank off to get to the servo cables. Um, you, you see the radiator and all the body panels got to come off. Um, you want to drain it, get, you know, get as much room to work as possible. And uh, obviously you want to be careful. You don't drop the headers when you're working with it and dent it. Uh, that would royally suck. <laughs> but, um, you know, they go in nice. Get new, make sure you get some new headed gaskets and make sure when you're torquing it down, you torque it in evenly um, and according to Kawasaki's um, service manual for the H2. The thing is so loud at idle, you can't, you can't hold a conversation. Um, you got to stand back a, a few feet uh, just to even be able to hear someone else talk. And uh, guys, when I, when I rev this thing, when I blipped it to like 5,000 RPM, um, the thing, it hurt my ears. I felt my, I felt my ears vibrate and it was the strangest feeling. It was that loud. It made me uncomfortable. I've been riding a long time and noise has never bothered me. This thing bothered me. So I'll be getting that, uh, decibel killer. One other thing I noticed when I revved it, and I'll start it for you guys in a minute, is that, um, the thing just revved up so quick. It's like the bike can finally breathe. I'm not sure what that's all about. But, um, or maybe I just been away from the bike for too long, but when I blipped it, it, the revs jumped up like super, super fast. So anyhow, those are just some initial comments. I'm going to go ahead and start the bike and hopefully the sound comes out pretty crisp.
hopefully that sound came through but it is really loud um, as you can see uh, the bike was looking for fuel um, I only had about a half a gallon in there since last night um, as you can see my tank doesn't have the decals on it and that's because I got a brand new tank uh, before I went on vacation I had a semi tip over event the bike never hit the floor but it dominoed into my other uh, in, into my MV and the tank got uh, a little bit damaged so I just bought another one and uh, sold the other tank to a friend in Australia who's actually developing an intercooler kit so everything worked out perfect but um, I actually like it without the decals I don't know let me know what you guys think looks very clean but um, other than that that was it that is the Von Damon exhaust system uh, super loud and uh, it's definitely gonna need a decibel killer but uh, I love the thing I love the thing and I can't wait to get it out there and have it um, revved up full song so if you guys have any questions uh, feel free to run them by me otherwise just get a little bit more footage for you guys to see it with it mounted I know a lot of you guys are interested in this exhaust um, a lot of you guys have been hitting me up on the side and I can certainly help you get a kit once Von Damon performance opens uh, from their Australian summer vacation hope you guys enjoyed watching this and we've got a few things planned coming up uh, we'll be doing another dyno session and also uh, I'm gonna have those winglets the uppers and the lowers painted um, and then once they're painted uh, closely to match the bodywork uh, they're gonna go on uh, or I may chrome plate them still not 100% decided yet but they will be nice when they're done so guys that's it for now thanks for watching